Hello guys, welcome to the, to the Syfinity training course and today is the day 2 I would like to talk about how to install the Syfinity CMS on the Windows PC by manually ok so basically we were done the Syfinity uh, creation for foot project on the Windows PC by automatically created by a uh, Syfinity project manager after you install the Syfinity project manager successfully from the internet so it will create automatically a project for you and actually you don't know the step to create a new project at, by, the, uh, by manually ok so this video we have you how to do it let's get started Ok, this one is the Syfinity CMS project manager we will install in the first video and let to, today I will guide you how to create manually Firstly, you have to make sure you will install the, the, the Visual Studio and also Sequence Server on this on the PC I will install the Sequence Server Manager 2014 on this PC and the Visual Studio, Visual Studio E 2017 Ok, you, on, uh, you click on the create a project here and you, this one is a folder I want to install my new project into so now I copy the path of this folder and paste it here I enter the project name is Syfinity Syfinity Demo at F demo, click on the next button. Yes, because uh, because the, uh, this one is a step to select the license, and because I the license on this PC had been activated on the uh, in the first video, so now I just go ahead to select the license here and currently the version is uh, the, uh, the, the license is child click, click on the next button yes after that it will display uh, the confirmation license dialog so go ahead to click on the finish status here yes you can see here status is online that means you just have just created successfully the, the database as a, the the Syfinity. you go ahead to click on this one double click on this one it will open the the site on your browser it it will take a while to set up the configuration. Yes, and this step you have to provide the uh, sequence server information you want to be installed is at a, at a, the database. So you go ahead to select the my sequence server here, Microsoft sequence server. Open your sequence server and copy some server name information. The part is default username is at a provide the bad code ok so the last one you have to provide the database name and come back to the sequence server and go ahead to create a database name for this one and new database I will name it at ftmo db copy the name ok so by default when you just create the new database here and we don't have any table added into this database and now we have to provide the name of this, of, of this uh, database for Syfinity 
and after we finish the installation, so the owner of the table, uh, which will use the store the data for Syfinity, will be created under this table. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so now you have to provide the information for admin administrator. Use first name, last name is provide email, password, click on the I'm not button to perform the action. So this one is a setup thing, a new project, and maybe we will take some minutes to finish the step. It seems the installation is clearly to done. Okay, this one is the dashboard of the admin page. So that means for now you have just installed the Syfinity, a new project successfully on the Windows PC. Okay, so the fully we come back to the sequence server to see what we have in the database. Refresh it. We have the database name is Syfinity Demo DB table. Yes. You can see here, for now, we have a lot of table had been added into this database. Okay, so now come back to the admin page of Syfinity. On the top, we have some the menu bar here, which will help me to direct to some correct button correct bonding page sys or the feature uh, okay so I will talk ab about more detail in another video later and here we have the demo you click on the Syfinity demo here it will open the front end page and now
okay so this one is a admin page so you want to access into the front end page you should open this one yes this one is a front end page and we got curry we don't have any the pet on in this system so it will display the default pet you can see this screen because there are no pets created yes okay so i think that's all for today and after you finish this video you know how to manually create the Cyfinity cms project on the window pc by using the Cyfinity project manager it is of using the feature created automatically for first project after you install the, the Cyfinity from the internet into a window PC. Okay, so I hope that helped and feel free to let me know if you have any issue. Bye bye, talk to you later in another video.